Hey everybody, welcome back to Adam Bobro Connect, the channel where you send me your emails and I do my best to respond and hopefully be helpful. Let's see here, we've got an email. The email says, Hi Adam, I've been following you on the socials for a while now. In your video on any tips on improvement in lobbing slash fishing, you ask for more questions about table tennis. As you mentioned in this video, our sport is a mental game, and that's where my biggest problem is too. When I train on my club, my level of playing is about two levels higher than what I accomplish in competition matches. Then I get afraid of making mistakes, forget to use the right techniques, how to play, when to hit the ball, where, and so on. I guess you know what I mean. Do you have any tips on how to train on the mental side of things? How to mentally prepare on matches? How do the pros do this? About me, I live in the Netherlands, started with TT nine years ago when I was 51 years of age. So this year I turned 45, tee hee hee. I love it, good math, good math. At the table I'm still a young and hungry dog. Keep up the good work and keep on ponging. Hope to hear from you soon, greets. Well. You'll be happy to know that you will hear from me. Hopefully this is relatively soon. Okay, good question. The mental side of the game. First of all, Dora Kuramai from Adam vs. Dora, the video on my main channel, she is a sports psychologist and she's written several books about, you know, the mentality of table tennis and things that are important to keep in mind to make sure that you are focused. So check out her books. Um, there's also a very good book called The Inner Game of Tennis that I started to read once that was, I'd say, a game changer for many players, many professional athletes across different disciplines, different sports. Let's see. You play much better in practice and in yeah your training hall than in competitions. It's incredibly common, especially because you probably play in your training hall significantly more than you play in tournaments. Things become comfortable when you get used to them, like riding a bike, or for some people, playing table tennis. And for people that play tournaments all the time, playing tournaments. There are nerves involved. I think the big thing is, imagine this. Imagine you had to play six tournaments a week, but you could only practice one day a week. That practice, you wouldn't want to mess up right? Or let's say you had to play 15 tournaments a month and you could only practice once per month. You might be really nervous during that practice with all that pressure to make sure that you use the practice perfectly wisely. How to really optimize your time and make sure that you're not letting anything slip or wasting time practicing the wrong things. Suddenly practice would become a lot of pressure and tournaments would just be your norm. That's not usually how life is with tournaments, but hopefully you understand the comparison. So in practice, play matches. Try to simulate a tournament as much as possible and put something on the line. It can be, you know, whoever wins or whoever loses has to treat the player to a bottle of water or I'm not big on that, but like dinner or something to that effect. Or maybe it's, you know, winner stays on. That's pretty common. And if you lose in the practice hall and you have to sit down, you might be bummed out about it because you want to play more. But put some pressure on yourself in that way. And also play more tournaments. If you're playing more tournaments, you'll get more and more comfortable, more used to it. There won't be this feeling of, oh man, this was my one tournament for the last three months. I'm going to have to wait another five months until the next tournament. And I got knocked out early. Just sort of, it'll free you up a little bit. I think when there's more pressure, when people get nervous, they get tense. Their muscles tighten up, which slows you down. If you're able to stay loose, you're able to be more like a whip than like a stick. And if you want to make a sonic boom, you need to use a whip. You can't use a stick. The end of a whip moves way faster than the end of a stick. For that reason, it stays loose, right? That's why you don't see, I don't know if this analogy works, but baseball, which was the first sport I grew up playing, pitchers. Pitchers aren't the biggest, strongest guys. They tend to be thinner. They tend to be a little bit lankier in the upper body because if they're too muscular, their arms are gonna move slowly, right? They need to be fluid and loose. Strong still, but you know, Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds, I'm dating myself a little bit with some of these guys, but you look at the body types of a pitcher, that's a big thing. So stay loose when you're playing, and maybe more importantly, I don't feed myself by winning. There's nobody at home depending on me to bring home a paycheck for making it to the final of the tournament. So, that should take some pressure off. It's all in good fun, so have fun with it. Try to stay loose and enjoy and play more tournaments. The more you do something, the better you get at it. I hope that's helpful. What do the pros do? Well, they all have different tactics, but a lot of them do everything they can to stay loose. And sometimes, I think it's also very important to know yourself. So for some people, they play really well when they are fired up, when they're under pressure. Some people need to trick themselves into thinking, well, the scoreboard is 0-0, and just focus on the point. I think most of the pros know that it's important to focus on specific small moments. What's next? Or what's happening right now, right? What are the options for serve-receive? What do I do if 
It comes long. How can I prepare? But be in the moment. Don't think about the scoreboard. It's very easy to get distracted without sort of taking the small steps to put one foot in front of the other. So it's a long conversation topic. That's why there are so many books about it. I hope this is helpful. Yeah, just remember, have some fun, and I hope that helps. Play more tournaments. Alrighty. If you have any questions, anything you want me to talk about or think I can be helpful with, that's what I'm hoping to do here is be helpful. So send in your emails to adambobroconnect at gmail.com and hopefully I can be of service. Thanks a bunch. Stay cool, be kind, and as always, keep on ponging. Peace.